Let's have another friend come in. I'm so pleased to introduce you to Michelle Orman. How are you, girl? Hi. Hi, Joy. So yes. you've got your background because you have your preschool in your living room. I yes, love that. I yes. yes. So I before know. we talk about your preschool that you just barely started in January, let's take everyone back. So before you met me, what was your life like before? What were you struggling with? What were some of your challenges? Oh, goodness. Okay. So let's jump back. So I've been um, a teacher in the schools for 10 years and I love education. I um, like, I just feel like it's my gift and like kind of my purpose in life is to be a great educator. Um, and I love it. Um, and then I got pregnant with my son and then soon after my daughter, and I'm now pregnant with my third child. I'm oh, 32 congrats. weeks pregnant. Um, and so things changed pretty quickly in our lives where all of a sudden we have these little kids and I was trying to manage um, the teaching world and bringing a lot of work home. Yeah. And it was just becoming way too much for me, honestly. And it was mm -hmm. taking a toll on my mental health. And um, I decided that I wanted to try something different outside of the classroom. And um, I didn't know what it looked like, but a dream that I had had many years ago was to start my own preschool program, actually. And I kind of had just thought I was going to do that maybe in 10 years, 15 years, once my kids were a little bit older. Yeah. And then I was scrolling on Facebook and I found <laughs> your book and I ordered it right away. And I kid you not, um, as I was reading it, it was like a very surreal experience because I had this dream so long ago and every single thing in the book was describing exactly what I wanted to do. And so it was honestly just like a blueprint for me where I'm yeah. like, this is my dream coming to life. And I'm just going to follow every single step because it was just so in line with what I was thinking, what I was feeling. Yeah. And so I decided to leave the classroom um, and the traditional classroom. Mm -hmm. And I started my preschool and I thought I would do daycare for a little bit, but I decided, nope, I don't want to, I don't want to do daycare. Yeah. Um, and I jumped right into launching my preschool and it's been going very, very well. Awesome. So let's, let's pause right there for a second. Okay. So when did you get the book? So I got the book last summer um, okay. and read that, or I think it was, um, yeah, spring, summer. And then um, I wanted to launch in January. I wanted to give yes. myself a little bit of time with my kids uh -huh. through the winter and everything. And then I launched right away in January. And by that time I was ready. <laughs> I was right. like, okay, I'm ready to start working a little bit again. And mm -hmm. um, everything was like put together so easily for me by following all the steps in the hub and um, the Facebook group. And it was just so wonderful that I did not have to do that all myself or figure that out all myself by myself. So it, it was really good. Yeah. And then did you do the challenge in October? Yes. Yeah, okay. I believe so. I did the, um, the challenge where you raise the money for, uh -huh. um, remind me what it's called again, because yeah, seven students in seven days. Yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> um, and I was able to be fully funded with that. Nice. That's um, awesome. So that was incredible. Oh, so there's two things. So there's seven students in seven days, which is the uh, founding family script. And okay. then there's the 1K in one day script, which is yes. what I think you're talking about. So yes. did you do That's both of them or? Yes, I did both of them. And yeah. I was able to get seven families. Um, I don't know if it was in within seven days, but it sure. was in a few months. Yeah. And then, um, it took about uh, just a little over a month to be fully funded with the, the, uh, fundraiser. fundraiser. Nice. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Okay. Yeah. And then I love that you've got your preschool in your living room here. And so, um, tell me about your husband's like opinion about it. Like, is he cool with it being in the living room? Yes. So <laughs> at first I did not want to do the preschool until we finished the basement and right. it would be like perfection for me. <laughs> um, however, 
I read a part in your book that was like, stop aiming for perfection and just move forward. Yeah. And that was like, Michelle, like you gotta <laughs> just, that was for me. Yeah. And so we talked about it and we have um, like a front entry room over here mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. That's kind of like the playroom. And then yeah. over here is more of like the learning, like our circle time and all of that. Yeah. And then we've got the little preschool table right Love there. It. Um, and you know what? It really works for our family because mm-hmm. we have a three-year-old son and we have a 18-month-old daughter. And yeah. so for them, this is like a perfect little setup for them. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was it, it hasn't been too bad. I mean, he he's in education. He has been in education in the past. So he gets it. Like right. we're just gonna go full on for it. <laughs> friends love it. Our friends yeah. love bringing their kids over because everything's so organized and they know how to clean up after themselves because yeah. everything's labeled. <laughs> um, and so it wasn't too hard to give it up at first. And we're just happy we have a space that totally. we can do this. And um, yeah, that the kids love it. Our kids love it and the preschoolers love it too. Yeah. Well, and I was thinking too, I mean, starting now, you're going to be able to start increasing your income to even pay for the basement to get finished, yes. right? Exactly. That is the plan. Mm-hmm. Yes. Eventually, so, we would love to move down to the basement and have a fenced in yard and have it all down there. Right. But you know what? This is working just fine for right now. Totally. So we're yeah. like, okay, it's, it's good. Yeah. No, I love that. And so mm-hmm. you said you're 32 weeks pregnant. Is that right? Yes, so I am. Like you finish the year. Correct. Then what's your plans for the summer, for the fall? Like, are you hiring a teacher like Bethany did? Or are you going to just take some time off? Like, what are your thoughts? So my plan is I'm not teaching in the summer. I'm taking all of the summer off. That makes sense. <laughs> yes, I know. A few people have asked me, oh, can you do like private lessons? And I'm just like, no, no, no. <laughs> um, no, not this time around. Um, yeah. But in the in September, I'm actually going to be hiring a helper. So I'm going to stay the main teacher okay. and I'm going to hire someone to watch my children. Oh, okay. How go about it. Um, and so they're going to watch my newborn and my 18 month old daughter. And then my son will just be a part of the preschool with me. Uh And yeah, I just want to stay the main teacher because I've been getting a lot of great feedback about Mm -hmm. my teaching style and my program. And I don't know if I want to give up that kind of control yet. (laughs) Um, The teacher, I mean, that's also where all the joy and fulfillment comes to, you you know, right. Um, And so, yeah, that's my plan moving forward is to hire a helper that can mainly focus on my two littles. Yeah. And then um, possibly kind of filter into the preschool, depending on their qualifications. Yeah. Um, So, yeah, that's that's the plan. And so are you you have one class right now, correct? I have two classes. Classes. Um, So I have Tuesday or Monday, Wednesday, and then I also have Tuesday, Thursday class just the morning. Yeah. Okay. And then are you going to keep just two classes in the fall? Or are you going to increase? I'm just going to keep two classes. Perfect. Um, that was a hard decision at first because, of course, I want to like go big or go home. But <laughs> now is not the time. So Perfect. we're just going to keep it yeah. for another round, mm-hmm. and, which is okay because it's yeah. been going very well. And I feel I still feel refreshed when the kids leave and I can oh, give my right. family the energy mm-hmm. that they need, especially my littles. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep the morning classes four days a week. Um, yeah. and they can just choose Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday. Mm-hmm. And the cool thing is that I only have two spots available for the fall. Holy cow. You already filled up almost. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's amazing. And it's April. Yes, I had five signups in the last week. So wow. I was just like, and I had a tour today. So we'll yeah. kind of see how that goes. But that was, I was like, if I can be full by the, before I have my baby yeah. in June, that would be like. Oh, you'll be there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I, I hope so. So <laughs> yes. you definitely will. That's awesome. Well, congratulations on everything. Would you say that preschool all-stars helped you to be able to create this, that it helped you to create the dream, you know, your dream preschool? A hundred percent. Yes. Um, One thousand percent. Yes. Um, like <laughs> I said, the book was incredible to read. It was exactly what I was looking for. 
Um, I consider myself someone that's been around education and can kind of figure things out. And I'm pretty good with tech stuff, but it would have taken me so long to figure out how to do all this stuff, how to do the business side. Um, I'm just so thankful that I, um, I'm a part of the program and that I have such a support system. I've got I mean, Joy, you're incredible, just like very inspiring and and following your journey. And then all the other sisters that are a part of the Facebook group. I mean, everyone is so incredible. And it was the support team that, I mean, I didn't realize that I truly needed. And I I love that I have that. Um, And so I think that it's added a significant amount of value Mm -hmm. that I've joined Preschool All Stars. Yeah. Oh, I love that. And I, I bet your families are loving it too, right? I mean, it sounds yes. like you have an amazing program. I do. A lot of it's been spread by word of mouth and they just love the program. And it's just really cool because they are saying that the program is so amazing and they're telling all their friends about it and their yeah. friends are signing up. And I'm just like, I'm just over here kind of doing my thing and, you know, providing hopefully like a quality program. Mm-hmm. And the word is spreading and I'm not really doing a lot of marketing. Um, I'm doing like Facebook posts here and there and, um, but it's just catching on. People yeah. love the idea of an in-home preschool mm-hmm. and not a daycare. They love that idea right now. Yeah. And hopefully that will continue um, because I plan on doing this for a while. <laughs> <laughs> that's the plan. Well, and I, I think everybody needs to just listen up for one second because this is interesting. Like, you know, you made the comment, you know, you love to go big or go home. I mean, I also feel the same way. Like I also have that fire. And I think a lot of us, like all stars are just really like go getters, which mm-hmm. is, you know, helpful. Um, but I love that you said, you know what we pondered, should we increase the class sizes next year? Mm-hmm. But you know, we're like, no, we're good. Like it's obviously going to provide the income you need. It's, but most importantly, it's keeping you in your happy place where when preschool is over, you still have, like you said, enough energy to go be with your family and period. That is the most important thing and keeping that always the most important thing. I love that. Yes. That is huge for me because like I said, my, my mental health was not in a good place before. Mm -hmm. And I love that I have that control now where I can add more, I can take it away. I can decide what I want to do and I can focus way more on my family, which I mean, my husband has been so happy to see such a brightness out of me again and my kids get my energy. Um, It's been wonderful. Like I, that is something you cannot like take. I don't know. It's just incredible. It can do that for you. Love that. Yeah. Um, if anybody's sitting on the fence about whether or not they should join Preschool All-Stars, what would you share with them? I would tell them to, yes, join. <laughs> um, go ahead and join. Um, no, it's just been incredible for me and my family. Like I said, a lot of this, I it would have taken so much time to try to figure out how to do it on your own and There's um, all these steps. There's the business side that I didn't know too much about. And all of that is provided for you. Mm -hmm. Plus all of it is current and it's kept up to date. And if there's changes, you guys are making changes on the back end to keep it up to date. And that was something that was really important to me um, is that it is current and um, it's valuable right now. And so I would just encourage you to do it because it's changed my life significantly. And I hope it does the same for you. Well, you are awesome. Thank you so much again, Michelle. It was always a pleasure talking to you. Yes, you too. Thank you for having me. All right, Brent. We'll see you soon. Okay. Bye. bye.